Movies have painted a picture for us of what we perceive alien things to look like. There are things that just don't seem like they're from this Earth, so surely must be from somewhere else. Like these things, for example. From an alien shark that rarely shows itself, to a coconut crab unlike any other, here are 15 alien-looking things that exist in real life. Number 15. Octopus Stinkhorn whether you call it octopus stinkhorn, devil's finger, octopus fungus, or its real name of Clathrus archeri, it's clear to see this thing doesn't look like it's of this world. This fungus, which is indigenous to Australia and New Zealand, looks like blood red fingers protruding out of the ground. It looks a bit like a starfish and has between four and eight red arms covered in an awful smelling gleba. It usually spans around eight inches across and four inches high and grows in leaf litter under shrubs and trees. When it forms, little fingers sprout out from a sub erumpent egg, almost like alien life. Once it reaches full maturity, it ends up smelling like rotting flesh. So even though it's easy to spot because of its vibrant red color, you may also smell it before you see it. Even though you're more likely to see this plant in Australia and New Zealand, it's also an introduced species in Asia, Europe, and North America. To be honest, as intriguing as the octopus stinkhorn is, it's not exactly something we're in a hurry to plant in our gardens. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Mega Mouth Alien Shark the Mega Mouth Shark is not one you see every day. In fact, it's so rarely spotted and so mysterious that people call it the Alien Shark. They tend to live and swim around a mile deep in the ocean and they are quite secretive in their movements. What's more, there have only been around 60 sightings of this shark in the Indian, Pacific, and Atlantic Oceans since they were first discovered off Hawaii's coast in the late 1970s. They are around 17 feet long, have about 50 rows of small teeth on each of their jaws, and they are of a dark brown and gray coloring. Unfortunately, even with all those teeth, these sharks don't pose much of a threat to humans. They tend to eat small prey and krill and are one of three filter-feeding shark species, including whale sharks and basking sharks. They are also not as active as other sharks and are poor swimmers due to their soft fins, flabby bodies, and asymmetrical tails. Basically, they are nothing like a great white shark. Most people won't even know these unusual sharks exist, let alone see one in person. Number 13. Spiny Flower Mantis when you see a spiny flower mantis for the first time, you can be forgiven for thinking it's an alien species and not of this world. These small, colorful praying mantises are unique in every way, with their white, green, and orange stripes and patches on their wings that look like eyes. They tend to be mostly white but with green stripes on their legs. They also have purple eyes, which is something you're more likely to see in a horror movie than a real-life creature we have here on Earth. When they're young, they also have orange spots on their abdomens and then a black and yellow swirl on their wings when they become adults. You can see if you were a predator, all of a sudden you'd see eyes. Surprisingly, they are black when they're born, but they form orange pink spots and white each time they molt. By the time they are fully grown, they're about five inches long and full of unique colors. They live in sub-Saharan Africa and tend to be relatively quiet. In saying that, they are active hunters and feast on flies and moths. Number 12. The Eye Eye 
Not only is the name of this animal strange, but so too is the animal itself. Just looking at it, you have every reason to think it doesn't exist in real life. At least, not on this planet. The I.I. is a nocturnal primate that spends most of the nighttime hours foraging for food. Sounds a bit like us, to be honest. They live in dense forests around Madagascar and blend in with their environments with their dark fur. But this is really a lemur of a different stripe. Their large ears look peculiar on their small heads, but they do serve a purpose. They use these for listening out for the movements of larvae and grubs. Their large eyes also improve their night vision. They grow up to around 16 inches long with a 22-inch bushy tail. They also have shaggy fur, long, curved claws, and weigh about 6 pounds. If you find yourself exploring rainforests, deciduous forests, mangrove forests, and and scrub forests during the day, you will rarely see the I.I. They remain high up in the trees during the day, tucked up in nests they constructed from leaves and twigs. Number 11. Peacock Mantis Shrimp Believe it or not, the peacock mantis shrimp from the south of Japan, north of Australia, and east of Africa is not that much different from other shrimp varieties. But if you were to put them side by side with those other varieties, you would see there's one massive difference, and it's their coloring. They are such a vibrant mix of colors that they don't look like they should even exist. They're mainly green, but they have orange legs and spots. Their shells also have a mixture of other colors. If you were to put them in a beauty contest with their shrimp relatives, they would definitely win. They grow anywhere from 1 inch to 7 inches and have long, narrow bodies. They also have a special club-shaped attachment called a smasher, which you could almost compare to a boxing glove. This appendage can hit objects and break them, which would probably come in handy if you were a peacock mantis shrimp that had chosen a life of crime. They also have extremely good vision and can look in two different directions at the same time. It's hard not to be intrigued by this crazy little critter. Number 10. Thorny Devil Lizard Is it from Mars? What about another far-off land? Seeing a thorny devil lizard for the first time may make you think that. After all, it is incredibly odd with rough, scaly skin and spikes all over its body. It can also change color to suit the environment and soil. But as strange as this lizard is, it actually does live on Earth. In Australia, to be precise. The thorny devil is quite harmless to us, even if it doesn't look like it is with all those thorns on its body. But it does have a few strange features. It has an odd lump by its head, which it uses as a fake head. When it feels under threat, it'll put its real head between its legs so that the lump looks like its head. It confuses predators enough to leave the lizard alone. That's not the end of the surprises either. It can absorb liquid through the grooves on its skin, then transport it to the parts of the body that needs it. Therefore, it has adapted well to Australian deserts and can just position itself under some shrubs with dew and wait for the moisture to fall on its skin. Number 9. Coconut Crab Most crabs you come across are so-so. They don't make you recoil in fear or even blink an eye. But there has to be a reason why English naturalist, biologist, and geologist Charles Darwin described the coconut crab as monstrous. And when you see it for yourself, you'll be saying the same thing. Coconut crabs can grow up to around 3 feet long and weigh up to 9 pounds. They're even strong enough to carry 3 times their own body weight. For quite a while, rumors were floating around about what this coconut crab was capable of, and most people thought they were lies. Supposedly, it could climb trees and dangle from them and even break through coconut shells with their claws with ease. Some people said they could even tear a human apart if they wanted to. Strangely, these rumors weren't half wrong. The claws of a coconut crab are as strong as a lion's jaw. While I'm measuring up,
They can tear a coconut apart with ease. They can also hunt and kill birds, cannibalize their relatives' corpses, and tear apart live animals like pigs. They'll even eat their own skin when they grow new skin. They sound like a creature of your worst nightmares. Number 8. Wrinkle-Faced Bat the wrinkle-faced bat isn't about to win any beauty contests, that's for sure. This alien-looking bat species are found around Central America and differ from other bat species in many ways. For some reason, they're classified as leaf-nosed bats, but they don't have a leaf nose at all. Instead, they have a strange-shaped skull that allows them to eat more food types than other bats. Because their skulls are so short and wide, like your idea of a vampire bat. Their bite force is around 20% higher than bats of a similar size. They are a fruit-eating bat of brown and yellow coloring and have no hair on their faces. Instead, they have strange skin flaps and a skin mask they can use to cover their faces. They even have storage pouches in their mouths to store fruit. That would be like us having built-in pantries in our bodies. How absurd. What's also quite strange about this bat species is how its wrinkly face works with sonar. The wrinkles and grooves around its nostrils somehow manage to improve its sonar and radio technology. This bat may look like something out of your nightmares, but there's no denying it seems to handle life better than many other bats. Number 7. Poodle Moth when the poodle moth was first discovered, people didn't believe it was real. How can we still be finding new creatures, and something as absurd as the poodle moth at that? It's almost like it had landed here from another planet. That's how strange this moth is. Some people say it looks like a Furby or even a miniature gargoyle. Others say it looks like a newly released Pokemon character. In reality, the Venezuelan poodle moth is a tiny insect that could be related to the furry muslin moth. And it is ridiculously cute. It has a wingspan of around one inch and has what looks like tufts of fur all over its body. We don't know all that much about it just yet, as it was only discovered in 2009. Zoologist Arthur Anker from the Federal University of Ceará in Brazil took a photo of it when he was walking through Venezuela's Canaima National Park. He didn't know what he was dealing with, so he put the call out to other zoologists to find out its genus. Even though we don't know much about this moth, we're somehow drawn to it. It's just so fluffy. Number 6. Sarcastic Fringe Head From its frowny little face to its angry disposition, the sarcastic fringe head almost looks like it's not from this world. Or, at a minimum, it's something fictional from a cartoon. But it is very much real, and it's a tiny fish that lives around the coasts in the Northeast Pacific Ocean. But it's not just their expressive faces that makes this fish unique, it's their entire behavior. They are known as tube blennies because they live in tube-like structures or burrows that other animals have made, such as clams. Sometimes, they'll even live in our plastic trash like soda bottles, which is pretty depressing and embarrassing for humanity. When they mate, the female will lay her eggs inside the male's shelter. And no, that's not a euphemism. He will then protect them until they are ready to hatch. He does this by opening his mouth as far as he can, warning off smaller fish that are trying to assert their dominance. Their mouths are quite oversized, which, surprisingly, can affect what they eat. Because they can't suction feed, they can't eat planktonic prey like other tube blennies. Instead, they dine on small things like squid eggs. Number 5. Tongue-Eating Louse are you craving a sleepless night? Do you want to fall into a fitful sleep and wake up dripping in sweat and terrified? Well, we've got the very creature for you. The Tongue-Eating Louse. If this doesn't make you lose sleep, then nothing will. 
These lice find a fish with a delicious looking tongue and then start feasting on its blood supply. When they wither away to nothing, they take the place of the tongue. Imagine having a parasite for a tongue. Horrifying. Houston Rice University Department of Biosciences Assistant Professor Dr. Corey Evans made the horrifying discovery in 2020. He had been x-raying fish skeletons, then noticed that the mouth of one of the fish was quite crowded. He quickly realized that he was looking at a tongue-eating louse rather than a tongue. They tend to feast on saltwater game fish tongues, but actually don't do much harm. If you can call eating your tongue not harmful. Once they take the place of the tongue, the fish can live for several more years. Often, the parasite dies long before the fish even does. Number 4. The Harp Sponge Sea sponges are nothing to write home about. They are sponges that live in the sea. Quite boring, really. Well, that was until 2012, when scientists who were on a research voyage around Northern California coasts discovered the harp sponge. The harp sponge is a carnivorous deep sea predator. Who would have thought? It has small hooks on its vertical branches, which it uses to trap and eat prey more massive than you would think it could, like small crustaceans. It gets its name from all those branches on its body that make it look like a harp, but it's not nearly as elegant and refined as one. It lives on flat, muddy sea floors and can grow up to around 24 inches wide and 16 inches tall. Even though researchers have learned quite a lot about them in recent years, the average person is unlikely to spot them. They live around 11,458 feet below the ocean's surface. Good, we say, because they're not nice. When they capture prey that drift past, they use their digestive membranes to digest whatever they eat slowly. They take no prisoners. And we find the whole idea absurd because, after all, they're a sponge. Number 3. Star-Nosed Mole when you see a picture of a star-nosed mole, it's easy to assume it's a picture from an alien movie. Surely, this creature can't be real. Well, it is. But we just don't know a lot about them. Star-nosed moles are small moles from North America. They are up to 5 inches long and weigh around 1.72 ounces, so they're not exactly huge. What you'll first notice about them is a strange organ where their nose should be. These are a touch organ with around 25,000 sensory receptors to help the mole feel its way around. Their actual nose is only around 1 centimeter in diameter, but the sensory receptors, known as eye organs are positioned on 22 appendages around it. They aren't there for no reason, though. This mole is basically blind so it needs some way to get food. It uses this appendage to sniff out aquatic insects, mollusks, worms, amphibians, and even fish. It can smell underwater and exhales air bubbles onto scent trails before inhaling the resultant bubbles to notice the various scents of prey. Their touch organs are also so strong that even though they're only around the size of our fingertips, they have about five times as many nerve fibers as our entire hand. The mole can take 8 milliseconds to sniff out prey, then around 200 milliseconds to eat it. Number 2. Moss Mimic Stick Insect the moss mimic stick insect is definitely something that looks alien and shouldn't exist. But when I saw a picture of this insect for the first time, the first thing I thought was, how on earth was it even discovered? It camouflages itself that well that you would rarely see one and think it was any kind of living creature. The moss mimic stick insect is from the Phasmatodia species and is called Trichopliplus lacinatus. La laciniatus. I'm moving on. Other members of its family are the walking sticks and true leaf insects. 
Like those members, the Moss Mimic Stick Insect cleverly camouflages itself to its surroundings, but definitely with far more success. It manages to look just like its background's moss and foliage because it has patches of chitinous cuticle on its body. These offer the same or similar texture to the wooded environments in which they live. You would think that such camouflage would mean this creature is an excellent hunter, but it's purely for defense purposes. This insect is an herbivore. You could only imagine it would be near the top of the food chain if it did eat other insects, though. Number 1. Stargazer Fish if you thought the great white shark was a big meanie, then you haven't met the stargazer fish, which lives around 37 meters below the ocean surface. Not only is it terrifying to look at, but it doesn't even have a great personality. These fish, which grow up to around 24 inches long, have eyes on the tops of their heads, which allow them to bury themselves under the sand and attack their prey without warning. Some also have little worm-shaped lures on their mouths, which they wiggle to get their prey's attention. When they go in for the kill, they use their two venomous spines to poison their prey, but they also have electric organs in their eyes to cause electric shocks. Even some divers have been unfortunate recipients of some of these shocks, and they are not nice. But nothing about this fish is nice. It's honestly the worst. Fortunately, we humans do like to eat, and stargazer fish is on the menu. They're considered a delicacy in some countries, and can be found with the electric organ removed in many fish markets. If you've seen any alien movie, you'll surely notice that some of these items look eerily similar to what you see in them. Which thing weirded you out the most? Have you seen any of them in person? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!